Hello everyone, welcome you all to another video on C programming tutorial. So we all know that after writing our C code, we need a compiler to compile the code in order to run it in our computer. But have you ever wondered why we need a compiler and what happens when our C code is passed through a compilation process? So to clarify this concept of compilation process, today we are going to discuss about the step-by-step -step compilation process of a C code. To start with, we need to first understand that a computer only understands machine codes, which is a sequence of zeros and ones. But as a human, it is very difficult for us to understand and write a code in a machine understandable format. So, when we write a C code, we have to write it in a human readable format. However, the computer doesn't understand it directly. To bridge this gap between the human readable C code and machine executable code, it needs to go through a series of steps called the C compilation process. These steps converts our C code into a machine code, making it possible for the computer to execute our program. Now, let's break down the C compilation process into its main stages. We have four different stages in the C compilation process. Preprocessor, compiler, assembler, and linker. At first, our C file is given as an input to the preprocessor. In the preprocessor stage, three major tasks will be done. At first, it will remove the commands available in the C code. Next, it will replace the macro with its original content. And after that, it expands the header file contents. Once our C file is passed through the preprocessor stage, it generates an intermediate code called the preprocessed code. The next stage of this compilation process is the compiler. In this stage, the preprocessed code is fed into the C compiler. For example, we are using GCC compiler for our tutorial. Here, at first, the compiler will check if our code is following all the coding rules or not. If our code is not proper, the compiler will throw a syntax error from this point. Once our code is error free, compiler will translate this C code into an assembly code, which is a low level representation of machine code. And it is specific to the target architecture. The output file from this stage is an assembly file. The next stage of the compilation process is the assembler. In this stage, the assembly code is passed to the assembler, which is further converts it into object codes. The object code is a binary representation of the machine code, but with unresolved memory addresses. That means in this stage, assembler converts each and individual C file to a separate object file. But the object files are not known to each other. In our C programming, we can use multiple source files and we can share the information across the files. But for that, our source file should combine into a single executable file. And this job is done by the linker stage. This is the final stage of the compilation. Here, the object code generated from the different source files are combined together to generate a single executable file. The linker resolves memory addresses, links library functions, and produce the final machine executable code. And this way, finally our human readable C code is converted to a machine executable code. Now let's observe this with a simple example. To demonstrate the process, we wrote a simple code to display the hello world. We defined the hello world string in a macro and we named it as a display. We also have few comments in the code. Now, instead of compiling this code directly, we will compile it step by step using some specific commands. So let's start. At first, we will compile the code till the preprocess stage. For that, we need to type gcc hyphen e and the file name. So file name is test.c. So as you can see, the standard IO header file, which is used in our C code, is expand. 
and the comments are removed. And finally, macro is replaced with its original value. Now we will compile the code till the compilation stage. For that, we need to type gcc hyphen capital S and our file name. Here, all the syntax will be checked and the assembly file will be generated. As you can see, test.asm file is test.a file is generated. If we have any syntax error in our code, then we will observe that in this case. Let's do some syntax mistake in the code and observe how it reacts. As you can see, the compiler is throwing the syntax error. Now let's correct the syntax error and compile the code till the assembler stays. For that, we have to type gcc hyphen small c and the file name. Here, as we can see, the assembly code is converted into an object file. As the object file is in a machine code format, we can't understand the code. And finally, the linker stage is performed by using the command gcc space file name space hyphen o space output file name. This is the usual command we use to compile our code, where all the compilation stages are performed and all the object files are combined together to generate a single hex file. And the output of this linker stage will be the test.out file. Now we can run the test.out file and check the output. So as you can see, our hello world string is displayed properly. We can also have a single command to compile the C code step by step and generate the output file for each stages. For that, we have to type gcc space hyphen wall hyphen save hyphen temps input file name hyphen o and output file name. Once we run this command, we can see that the output files are generated for all the compilation stages individually. So guys, that's it for today's tutorial on compilation process of a C code. Hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or any suggestion, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for more programming tutorial. So see you soon with another tutorial video. Till then, keep learning and keep sharing.